So it's a new day and time for a new video. Uh, we keep doing these weekly and we're gonna try to for as long as we can. I keep saying that. So if it happens to be one day that we don't, yeah, that'll be the end of it. But we're gonna try to do as many as we can for as long as we can. And today we're gonna start off with what's new in our studio. Today is um, kind of obvious behind me if you haven't noticed. The screen behind me is massive huge screen um, that we found on Facebook Marketplace. It's a Samsung Ultra Wide, and I cannot tell you the number. It's got a big long name, but basically it's a ultra wide screen that's in 1440p. Um, so far, we're loving it. Uh, it shows you everything, you can see everything. The screen we had before was a 24, 25 inch screen. Um, that was a great screen, it just didn't, um, and you ran out of real estate, just didn't have the space that we needed. So today uh, we did find us a new screen. Um, we've had it only for a few hours now. Actually, this is kind of a video of us having it. Um, we'll see how it works uh, long term. But so far, I've watched a couple YouTube videos on it. I've you know edited audio on it. It's been it's been a great screen. Uh, I think it's gonna be good for us. So like I said, it's an ultra wide. It's made by Samsung. It's got a 1440. Um, and if you notice, it doesn't have a stand because we have it on an arm. We have it on a VESA arm uh, behind the desk so we can go up and down and get to the computer that's behind it. Anyways, um, the new thing that we're going to show you today that we actually are really going to talk to you about is this guy here. And this guy is by Two Notes Engin Audio Engineering. It's the Torpedo Captor 8. Um, it is, according to the box here, it is a load box, an attenuator, a speaker sim and a DI box. Um, it'll take up to 100 watts at 8 ohms, which all of my amps here are 8 ohm speakers. You could probably get away with a 4 ohm because 4 is half of 8. You could probably get away with it, um, but you couldn't go higher than 8. You know, you, you could not plug, technically, you could plug a 16 ohm box into this and make it work, but it's not going to work you'll probably end up frying the thing, um, to be honest. So stick with eight, stick with eight. You could probably do four, because four is just half of eight. Um, eight is half of 16, but 16 is obviously more than eight. Anyways, it's a little box. It looks like a gigantic direct box, honestly. It's, it's, a, it's a big, thick boy. Um, so it's probably about two and a half, three inches high. It's probably about six to eight inches long. Anyways, um, on the back here, if, if you call this the back, um, there's a, an exhaust fan. Um, I guess this thing gets hot. I don't know. I, I haven't played with it much and haven't really heard it get hot. Or, you know, like heard the fan kick in because it's hot. But maybe when you're pulling in, um, you know, pulling in voltage from your amplifier that could help cool it down maybe a little bit. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but anyways, haven't done a lot of research. I just found one at Guitar Center this week and picked it up because I was like, you know that would be a great addition to our guitar tones. Um, it's got, on this side, other than the fan, there's a speaker in which takes the input from the power section of your amplifier. You know, if you unplug the cabinet, you can plug in that, that send or that uh, power output into the speaker, uh, into the speaker box in this load box here, and it'll transform it into an XLR uh, line output. Anyways, um, there is, a speaker output on it too so you break you can bring it in and still go out of it into your speaker cabinet and kind of use it as like a load box um in that way um so you can uh, kind of be like oh i want to play with my amp full volume but i only want the cabinet to be you know real low you know so i can still play at night or something and still hear the speaker um or in a recording sense it's like i want to still hear the speaker but i don't want that speaker to necessarily blend in to all my other mics in the studio here. Anyways, um, we've got on the other side, um, another vent, which I imagine this is just where cold air would come in, pulled through with the fan that's on the back here. Um, it's got a volume, an output level here, which like I said, I haven't played with it much, but from what I can tell, the XLR output and your speaker outs are affected by that. I could be wrong, let me know if I am, You know, post something down in the comments let me know or send me a message saying, hey, that was not right. And 
Maybe I'll do another video correcting it. Um, it does have, this take nine volt power. So you do, it does need power. It's not a, a passive box by any means. It takes nine volt. Um, it also take phantom power. So, you know, plug it into your interface or into your live sound console at a gig, have them send you a phantom power and you're good. Um, mine, I believe I'm gonna sit on my pedal board and just take one of the extra nine volts out of my power supply which you can see that power supply in uh, our previous video that's on um, our pedal board update. But then it's got an XLR output and which you have a ground lift for um, and a phase. You have a ground and a phase for that. Um, but there's a line in that is TRS on the front here too, what, that's next to our XLR, um, which my plan is to take, um, like when I go to a gig and I can't play, with my amp, I can plug my effects into there and then go out XLR because this is a speaker sim. Um, could not tell you, and I've looked all over the place, I can't really tell you what the speaker sim is supposed to really be. Um, I've heard anywhere from like vintage 30s to greenbacks to, but it's kind of similar probably, I'd guess, to a vintage 30 and, and the greenback type speaker. So anyways, um, which is handy because you can turn it off. There's an on off switch for it. Um, I have it set to guitar right now. You can run a bass through it and do a bass through it or you can turn it off and it just doesn't, um, it doesn't use the speaker sim portion that's built in here, which could also be why there's a fan here is that whatever, wherever that uh, speaker sim is loaded into this box, you know, it might get a little warm running, so you, it might need to cool down. Um, I have powered it on, I've turned it, I put signal through it. It is a good sounding box, I do like it. They're made in France, I'm sorry, they're designed in France, they're made in China, but um, from what I can tell, this box is, you know, it's pretty sturdy. Like, I, I kind of feel like I could chuck it. I just, and it would, uh, it would still hold up. Like, or if it were like fall off the stage somewhere, you know, it's, you know, it's a pretty sturdy box. You know, it's, I imagine it's made out of steel. Um, but, you know, it's got little rubber feet. Like if you were to put it on a, you know, like on top of your amp, it won't vibrate off. Anyways, um, that is the two notes. Um, might be a little quick through it, but this is just kind of an overview. I might post a video of us like plugging it in and running signal through it and just seeing how that works. Um, I kind of want to finish the pedal board 100% or figure out how to fit this on my pedal board because I'd really like it to be on the pedal board as opposed to like sitting on top of my amp. So that's a, something to play with. We really appreciate you guys um, watching these videos and we really enjoy um, interacting with people. So send us uh, comments, send us um, even send us stuff that you might want us to do. Uh, I've got one video on some speaker stands I did with concrete. Can't quite do those because I don't have space for concrete in this space anymore. But maybe we'll do a, we'll do a kind of like a demo version of it and just like, this is how we do it in our studio and kind of go from there. But uh, that is today's video. Uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to our, our channel, hit the bell, it'll notify you when we got new videos coming out, uh, you know, just kind of hit like and subscribe and we'll go from there. Um, thank you for watching and have a happy holidays.